y'all day is going well. I am just getting back in the house from a power walk this morning. Um, I did a 30 minute power walk and it was really good. Like y'all, I felt the heat. Like I was sweating when I was out there. It was very humid to say the least. You know, it's South Florida. When is it not hot here? But it was very humid and it felt really good. Like I like getting up in the mornings and getting in a quick walk or jog or run. I haven't really been running lately. My knees just, I don't know. I tried jogging the other day and then the next day I couldn't get up. So <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna stick to my light jogs and power walks for now, but don't sleep on a power walk if you're not one to do it. Because listen, if you're doing it right, your quads gonna be burning, okay? Oil is gonna be burning and your butt gonna be burning if you were like, you know, squeezing it while you walk, trying to build the glute muscles. But anyway, that is how I started off my morning and it was very peaceful and beautiful outside today. Even though it was humid, it was still really nice. Like I try to get out just before the sun comes up. Now this don't happen all the time because sometimes I'll be sleeping in, I'll be tired. It, it could have been a rough night. <laughs> but for the most part in the mornings, if you get up right before the sun rises and you go for your walks, like you can see the color changes in the sky, like the pinks and the purples and like the light blues and it's so beautiful. So I try to look forward to that as inspiration to getting up earlier so that I can see it because otherwise if I get up late, it's just hot. Ain't no beautiful pink sky. It's just hot. And, and and gnats are out. So I try to use that as motivation to get up and get all the way out in the mornings. And it's just a good way to just like decompress before the day begins. You know, if there was anything weighing heavy on me, you know, if there was something that I seen, whether it was in the news, cause y'all know it's always something going on. You know, that is a way for me to just decompress and just get it all out and really start the day fresh. I like to like clear my mind before I start my day because there's, like I said before, there is so much stuff that can happen in the day and you just want to be prepared for it. And I really don't like feeling tense or anxious or any of that stuff throughout the day. And in my past years, I have kind of let that stuff weigh on me. And I'm at a point now where I just want to be free of everything, you know? I just want to be lighthearted and just, you know? So in order for me to be like that and to maintain that type of mentality throughout the day, I really have to just, you know, fill my cup up with lots of positivity and love and just decompress and let everything that happened yesterday go. Now. That doesn't mean there's always something that happens like major. Like, yo, I'm the type of person that sometimes stresses over the little things. Like, if you ask my husband, he'll tell you. God forbid he leave that toilet seat up. Oh, I'm in the mood. <laughs> or God forbid that there's trash in the trash can in here in the kitchen and it's full to the top and it's overflowing. And instead of one of my family members just emptying the garbage, they just continue to let it pile up. Like little stuff like that, y'all, it be driving me to a whole nother level. Am I the only one or is there anyone else out there like that? So I literally be like, okay, Kayla, you stressing over some little stuff. I mean, over time, if that keeps happening, like it's not gonna be little. It's gonna really start to piss me off. But it's just like early in the morning, don't let that stuff stress you, boo. Like really, just don't. So for me, I take little small steps and through exercise, through walking, through meditation, through yoga, through stretching, it helps me to just relieve some of that type of stress. Cause that stuff don't bother everybody. But for the people who that stuff do bother, you know where I'm coming from. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much. I need to do some stretches since we're talking about that because I did not stretch and I don't want to be like my legs all tight and I can't get out the car when I take Sky to school this morning because that has happened. I got a cramp in my leg from not stretching. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting old, y'all. So anyways, I just want to pop on real quick and say that and um, I'm going to get ready to do my stretches, uh, get Sky Sky ready for school and then we're going to start the rest of our day. pretty much the end of the work day at this point. It is about 5.27 p.m. And I meant to come back on like 
in the afternoon <laughs> to kind of like catch up with you guys but I just pretty much got busy with work and then I had a zoom meeting and then um, I scheduled a grocery pickup for today so I had to clean out my refrigerator and just do like a really good thorough cleaning I don't know if any of you guys are like that but I've kind of always been like that where I feel like I have to clean my refrigerator out before I stock it up with groceries like growing up as a kid my mom used to have us get rid of all the old expired food and even if it wasn't expired if it was like just pretty much been sitting in there too long we would throw it out and then clean the refrigerator out before she would bring home new groceries so I guess you could say I was raised like that but anyway so I went ahead and did that and now I'm here to pick up my groceries I'm at the Walmart grocery pickup and in my last video, you guys, well not my last video, but in my last like grocery haul video, you guys were really intrigued on the time in which it took for me to get my groceries. I guess in the different locations, they have different times. So right now, um, my order is ready. It's exactly 529 and I'm getting ready to check in. Um, I need to tell them what spot I'm in. It says check in successful, but they didn't ask me. They didn't ask me where I'm at. <laughs> they didn't ask me where I'm at. It just said check in successful. But it didn't say tell us where you're at. Usually it sent me a little notice that say that. Okay. Now it's asking me to tell them my spot. Spot eight and a black car. Okay, so technically I checked in at 5.30 by the time I told them what spot I was in. So it's 5.30 p.m. I'm going to come back on once they come up yeah, to my car and I'll give you... Yeah, just in case y'all don't believe me, 5.30 p.m. Yeah. Is it, did it go? Can y'all see what it say? Is it focused? Focus. Okay, fine. That won't focus. I'll show you my car one. Okay, 5.30 p.m. Ooh, it's dusty. Don't come for me. I ain't clean my car today. All right, you guys. It is officially 5.36, and they're here putting the stuff in my car. And I'm so... I normally don't wait any more than five minutes or so and this is my second time doing or no third time doing it and this time I chose a different day at a different time normally I'm here on the weekends early in the morning at like 10 or 11 well that's not that early but it is for a weekend we're supposed to be sleeping in but I'm usually here like at stop sky at 10 or 11 in the morning when I do these grocery pickups and there's usually nobody here but today it's after five o'clock it's 5 30 and there's a long line of people out here but I still only waited like six minutes for my order so I I am very impressed Walmart your customer service is superb now I did have another substitution though I will say that with Target I hadn't had any substitutions but with he this one I had a substitution the only hold had. on Skylar the only substitution that I had was on the Capri Suns um I order usually like the fruit punch Capri Suns these kids don't care what kind of Capri Sun it is but they substituted it for wild cherry so I don't know if they like that or not but that was my only substitution and then they were sold out of Skylar's Lunchables uh, out of two of the lunchables, I ordered five, but out of the five, two of the ones I selected were not available. So I'm gonna have to buy her two more lunchables from somewhere else. I was just like, <laughs> other than that, though, I didn't have any other issues with my order. So, all right, once he finishes loading it up, we're gonna go back home and I'll show you guys briefly what I have. I'm not gonna go all in the details like I do in the grocery <laughs> haul, um, not in this one at least. Really, Sky? <laughs> Sit back and put your seatbelt on. He's almost done. We're going to get ready to go, okay? Okay, so I'm not going to do like a, a grocery haul like I would normally do. I just wanted to show a quick snippet of some of the things that we got. But I really wanted to point out that y'all, I finally got the maple sausage. This is one of the key ingredients to the dirty rice recipe that y'all be asking about. This is it right here. When you get this Jimmy Dean maple sausage, it will change your life. But this is pretty much everything that I got for this upcoming week's meal plan. It's mainly just a bunch of stuff for the kids, lunches, and as far as like dinner items, um, I picked up some chicken breasts. Y'all know I can throw, I can do a bunch with chicken breasts, and then I also got some fresh chicken wings. Um, when I was shopping at all these, I could never get no chicken wings. They was out, so now I'm back to Walmart, and Walmart got like a big pack of chicken wings. So this is excellent. And then 
some of the other meals that I have planned for this week, I already have the meat for, like the ground turkey, and that's pretty much it. And then the maple sausage for the dirty rice. I usually cook two to three meals throughout the week, and then we have two days worth of leftovers. So that's really how I plan it out. Cook three meals, two days worth of leftovers, and then the weekends is a free for all with stuff like this or um, I still got leftover burgers and just random stuff like that. So, anywho, this is it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and get ready for dinner. I took out, I took out some chicken wings. I thought out some chicken wings to cook chicken wings for dinner tonight because these was the frozen ones I had left over from that last Aldi haul weeks ago. These chicken wings were in my freezer. So I want to go ahead and cook those first and then those other ones will be for the following week. But um, I'm going to do some chicken wings and I think we may just order pizza because the kids are tired of my frozen pizza. I think I frozen pizza them to death. Like when I say pizza, they be like, which kind? The real kind or your kind? <laughs> I'll be like, what you mean? They're so silly. So we may order some pizza for them and then put it with the chicken wings. Pizza, 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 pizza. Yeah. Oh, you can't just in time. You can come help me put these groceries away. Where are you going? Pizza, 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 pizza. These kids. And hey, who put this in my? I just did all my dishes. Who gonna put this in there? Why? Into here. Let me get these this, this stuff put away, y'all. Yeah, so Big Freddy and Sky Sky are outside right now. Big Freddy went to go ahead and heat up the spa. We're gonna get out there. And a little bit tonight and soak these bones, y'all. Honestly, I just really want to get out there and like soak my heels. Like my heels are so dry. And they need a good massaging from the hot tub. But let me tell you how my children tried me. So this one right here, along with my husband and her brother, straight up told me they don't want no frozen pizza. So I went ahead and I looked up um, some of the local pizza places that we have here to see who had a sale going. And Domino's had the best sale because not only did they have pizzas for $7.99, but they also have the wings for $7.99. And it's like a combo deal. You got to get the pizza and the wings. So I went ahead and I ordered that and I went and seasoned my wings and just went ahead and put them in the fridge and we're going to have those for lunch tomorrow. But they're going to be even more bomb tomorrow than today because they sitting and soaking in that seasoning. So lunch is going to be on and popping tomorrow. But um, anyway, so the food will be ready in just a minute. I did the, I think it's called curbside delivery option that they have um, where you don't have to go into the store. They're going to bring the food out to your car. So that's cool. I really like all these different changes and stuff that the restaurants and the chains are doing to just pretty much like help, you know, help with the costs. And it's also cool to me because of the fact that let's say you do have small children with you like this one, then you don't have to worry about trying to tug them into the restaurant with you and holding the stuff. You can just pull up, they bring it to your car, and then you drive off. So I thought that was pretty, pretty decent. So I went ahead and paid for it in advance. But anywho, I feel like I'm rambling. This is probably old news to some of y'all. Y'all probably been on to this. And I'm just the old grandma who just learning how it works. All right, guys. Pizza has arrived. Woo! Woo -wee. Kids are ready. I don't think that. Is the hot tub ready yet? Almost. Okay. So we're getting ready to eat. I just fixed me up a drink real quick. This is mocha. And now we finna eat pizza and hang out while we wait for the hot tub to get warm. Why you wanna give me a kiss? Pizza, you, Skylar loves giving kisses, huh? You wanna give me a kiss? She's so sweet. And I see my stuff to my teacher. It's a little warm though. It's not like hot out here. Cause the hot tub on, baby, that's why. I was like, it's a little warm right now. <laughs> but, um, you want to turn on something so we can watch some Netflix or something out here? Actually, you know what? My back is going to be to it. It don't even matter. I'm ready to eat. Who else ready? I'm hungry. I'm for life. Don't get mad at these wings because you was playing Call of Duty when I was trying to tell you what the deal was. As long as they barbecue, I'm okay. Let <laughs> me see what you No, I got the sauce though. I got the barbecue <laughs> sauce. What kind is it? Just a plain can? As long as it's not buffalo, I'm okay. <laughs> I told you. I said, babe, is they have the mild version. And you was like, I don't care. I said, I can get you barbecue sauce on the side, but it won't let me you change the type. You can't put barbecue sauce on buffalo. It wouldn't let me change the type. I tried to cook garlic parmesan. I tried to cook plain. It wouldn't let you change the type. I'm sorry. So that was the catch to the whole $7.99 deal. You had to get mild buffalo wings. I'm sorry. It might not be that bad. A lot of, they didn't put a lot yeah, of Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not bad. No, it's not that soft. It's pretty good. The pizza good, Sky? 
She all excited. <laughs> we having family dinner outside, you guys, eating some pizza and some well, it's wings. Not even family dinner, cause we forgot somebody to a date. You and, want more family dinner? Yes. Yeah. Mm. She want a little brother or sister. Did you spill your juice in your pizza? I know. <laughs> anyway, so once we're done eating, um, hopefully by then the hot tub will be hot and we'll spend some what? family time in here. We got the lights on. It's been a while, you guys, since we've been out here. It's been raining so much, especially in the evenings and the afternoons, that we just haven't had time to get out here like we used to. But it's starting to slow up a little bit, so we're going to get out and enjoy it. Plus, Sean was here earlier today, so he cleaned the pool out. It's all nice and clean and stuff. When Freddie had fell in, <laughs> all them leaves was in there and stuff. But yeah, mm, about to bust down. I already bust down on some. Anybody need anything? Because once I sit down, I'm done. I pretty much brought everything outside so you could get it yourselves. Okay, Freddie. It got a little fire. We all got back because we wasn't sure if it did or not. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'll get the marshmallows tomorrow. We got fire. You finna let it burn? You gotta let it burn. The pool ain't that cold. So I get back. Yo, Freddy, you know how to turn the bubbles on, Freddy? Hold on, Freddy putting the bubbles in. Let's see if he know how to do it. Wait. It's hot. <laughs> oh, he do. Good job, Freddy. Oh, it is hot. It's hot, hot. I told you. <laughs> it's hotter than earlier. See, I like hot. I don't know. That's definitely my child. We love hot water. I like hot Especially water. on our feet. On the feet, though. Oh, yes. I, I like when they're on my feet. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes. You're going to burn all them calories. Is that what she just said? Watch me, Mom. Watch me. You don't have your floaty on, so stay on the, the bench side, okay? All right, so we're gonna get in hot tub and just enjoy and relax for the rest of the evening. Catch up with y'all later.